Bella Felino, part of that loaded senior class for women's soccer that has only lost one time and been tied thrice this year. Potential one seed on the line coming up Saturday against Texas in the Big 12 title game as we welcome you back to BYU Sports Nation. Jerem Jordan, Jason Shepard. We now go to Round Rock, Texas, where Bella Felino joins us live ahead of the championship game coming up on Saturday. Bella, how you doing? And congratulations on the semifinal win against UCF last night. Thank you. I'm doing great. Can't. Can't ask for much more. Maybe just my own bed, but can't ask for much more. <laughs> Who, who's, who's your roommate on this trip? I'm with Tara. Very nice. How, how's, uh, how's the trip been so far? Obviously, winning two games is awesome, but you've, you've had to shuffle some things, thinking you were going to play in Round Rock, staying in Round Rock, playing in Austin at Texas. Now you're going to play back at Round Rock. How's, how's all of that been? It's been super good. One thing I love about this team is we're just so – so easy going you could change the field it could be you know 30 degrees it could be pouring rain and we're still gonna come out and give it our best last night you guys end up scoring four goals all in the first half how satisfying is that because I know you guys every team wants to come out and have that that hot start and really put the opposition on their heels you guys do it quite frequently how satisfying was that halftime lead knowing that the first 45 minutes you guys had just played Oh, it relieves so much pressure. It definitely changes that dynamic on the field, on the bench. Everyone's laughing and having fun, and I think that actually lets us play even more to our strengths and play even better when we're having fun and relieve all the pressure early on. Well, it's fun when you lead the country in goals, assists, points, goals per game, all of that. Um, <laughs> you, you guys have been so uh, good on offense the last couple of years, but this year feels like it's been another level. What what has it taken to become that team this year that – peppers the goal with all kinds of shots and a lot are going in yeah I think part of that is we just have such a strong class of returning girls and a super deep bench like we've played together for like almost what four years now and I think that's helped a ton and I also think our defensive energy Jen always tells us that defense wins championships so I think our defense helps us to like actually score more goals than the other teams as well Bella, this is a, a different way to end the season before the NCAA tournament starts. You guys, none of you have played in a conference tournament like this. You're used to playing in the WCC where you finish out the regular season and then you kind of have to wait. How has the, mm -hmm. the conference tournament experience been? It's been super fun. I'm super happy. I got to stay, stick around for another year and play in the conference tournament. And we have the chance to play for a number one seed, which is super cool. And I actually love that we were able to do that. You played in 101 games now, second most in uh, Cougar history, to Jamie Shepard, who I think may have played in one or two more. Um, what, mm -hmm. what has it been like to have this journey that obviously COVID has impacted in a way where you get another season, but with this particular group of what, is it 10 seniors, maybe 11, that you've been it's together, 11, like yeah. you said, you've been to the national championship game, and now you're going for that again? I think it's super cool. And unlike a lot of other country, or other teams in the country, we've played together for – a lot of years like and we just keep get a build and build and build and ultimately this is the our last year our last shot and go out on top would be the goal in terms of playing your best soccer where do you feel the team is at right now I think we're peaking at a good time like I think we're on the up and I don't think we've played our best game yet which is super cool and super exciting You've won six straight. You've outscored opponents 20 to three. You're going to play Texas again, this time not on Texas's home field, although you've won all three games. Uh, you've played <laughs> on that field two this week. Mm -hmm. You're going back to Round Rock. What will it take to beat Texas again? I think another strong start like we've been having, but like finish some goals early on and keep with our strong defense. I think if we also play how we've been playing, play with confidence that I know we've earned and we have, I think we'll, we'll have a good shot of beating them. When you look at everything that you have have experienced not just on the field but dealing with injuries what's with this being your senior season how, how reflective have you been or are you pushing all that aside and trying to focus on the task at hand and then you'll worry about that stuff later I am for sure pushing it all on the back burner and just focusing <laughs> game by game it hasn't quite hit me that in a couple couple months I'll be done but that's for later later problems and what's wild with tournament play especially is walking into this week, you didn't know if you had two games left in your BYU career or nine. You're, you've gotten mm -hmm. to the third Big 12 title game. You're hoping to get to a sixth game in the NCAA tournament. Do you feel like you need to win this game to get a one seed in the NCAA tournament and potentially host should you win all the way up to the College Cup? 
or uh, have you earned a one seed at this point? I like to think we have a one seed either way, but winning the tournament would give us that automatic one seed, which would be super awesome. And like we've talked about, it's my senior year. I'd love to host games all the way to the College Cup. Like, I think that'd be amazing. But I think we've done well enough. We have a high enough RPI that we'll for sure be a one or two seed. I, I'm not asking which is better. I, I'm, I'm curious, the team that obviously played in the, in the national championship game just a couple of seasons ago, where is this team different than that team? It's a good question. We are different, but like at the end of the day, I feel like both of these teams have been super good at keeping shutouts and scoring goals. But this team is definitely, I think we have a lot more personality, both on and off the field. The team's just full of goofballs and everyone's always having fun, which I think leads to, us our, leads to our success. I saw Michaela Coulihan on campus recently. We can't find a little COVID extra season, just work her in the midfield for uh, <laughs> the NCAA sure tournament. That would, that would be fun and weird. Uh, but yeah, best of luck against Texas. Uh, women's cross country brought home the first Big 12 championship in the kind of team tournament format. This would be the first in BYU sports history. So best of luck. 8 Eastern on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus against Texas Saturday. All the karma yes. we can give you. Yes. You've already scored a couple of <laughs> goals this you. week. Let's get some more and uh, beat the Longhorns. Exactly. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Bella.